Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and today is Boxing Day. No, it's not a day to celebrate the sport of boxing, but a day when employers and people of wealth gave Christmas boxes to their employees and servants. It's also the Feast of St. Stephen, one of the first deacons. The story of his martyrdom can be found in the Acts of the Apostles, and because it appears that he was the first of the early Christians to be killed for his witness to Jesus, he is known as the proto-martyr, or first martyr. He died, according to chapter 7 of the Acts of the Apostles, as Jesus himself did, praying for those who killed him, asking God to not hold that sin against them. And it seems God didn't. God used the powerful prayers of Stephen joined to his sufferings and the sacrifice of himself to bring about conversions. The most famous one was that of a man named Saul who was standing close by guarding the cloaks of those who stoned Stephen and approving of their actions. Stephen prayed for Saul who later had a profound conversion and became the great apostle to the non-Jewish Gentile peoples of the Roman Empire. Here's what St. Fulgentius said about Stephen's loving prayers. His love of God kept him from yielding to the ferocious mob. His love for his neighbor made him pray for those who were stoning him. Love inspired him to reprove those who erred, to make them amend. Love led him to pray for those who stoned him, to save them from punishment. Strengthened by the power of his love, he overcame the raging cruelty of Saul and won his persecutor on earth as his companion in heaven. May we too pray with love for our enemies and for the conversion of all who have gone astray. Amen.